Hey everybody, it's Ted here. I'm working on this engine. I'm gonna go over how to change a thermostat and a thermostat housing. I've got a new one here, a replacement. We're gonna go over the uh, reasons why we're replacing it and some of the things you gotta do to put it back together. I've got a new thermostat gasket kit and it comes with a gasket and O-ring and I'll show you how this goes back together. But let's get started. All right, so we're gonna change the thermostat housing here and I've already taken some of the hoses off, a large hose here. This is the hose that goes down to the actual pickup from where it comes in from the drive. These are the two hoses that go down to the exhaust riser. So I've got most everything disconnected. The bolts are loose, I've done that. We're just gonna remove this hose. This hose comes from the fuel cell, the fuel cooler over here. So we're gonna disconnect that. We're gonna remove the large hose that comes off the water pump. That's out of the way, that's the circulation pump. Then we have these two 14 millimeter and nine sixteenths uh, bolts. And it looks like they are standard on this engine. It's nine sixteenths. So we're gonna take those out. So you have a over here is the actual temperature sensor which is for the actual computer so this is a computerized engine so this is the coolant temperature sensor we need to remove that as well that takes a three-quarter inch or 19 millimeter socket all right i'm going to take that out as well because we want to put that in the new one all right we're going to take the two bolts out These have already been loosened up, so they're gonna come out real easy. Keep the bolts, we're gonna reuse those. Lifting eye, and then the housing comes right off. Now, inside this, there is a gasket here, and underneath that gasket, on some applications, there is an O-ring. So I'll clean this off a little bit, and you can see the thermostat is up inside the housing. So it's buried up inside the housing. Um, held in place by an O-ring and it's pretty corroded in there. I'm going to get a close-up view so you can see that. Okay, this thermostat housing comes off of a Volvo Penna 5.7 GSI. It's an older one and you can see that the uh, gasket's been on here forever and nobody's really changed this in a long time. Okay, down inside the housing, there's a O-ring in here and I have to get that O-ring out. So you can use either two, uh, these are water uh, hose pick tools that you can slide under the water hose to break it loose, or you can use a pick tool or a flathead screwdriver. And what I'm gonna do is I've gotta get the O-ring out of the groove, there's a groove it sits in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and just pull the O-ring towards me with a pick tool a little bit. I've got a new O-ring in the kit so trying to get the O-ring out of its groove. There we go, I got the pick tool under it now, so I just fished it out. So there's the O-ring, and there's an actual groove that fits in. Once you do that, that thermostat comes right out. This should be changed every two years. So there's the old thermostat. So you can't really see in there, but there is a groove it fits in. So if you're working on one of these, this is the older Volvo style. You've got a new thermostat kit. So I've got the thermostat, the O-ring, the gasket. Um, I'm not gonna reuse this one because it's so bad and I'm gonna show you why I'm replacing it next. Okay, here's the original one and it's corroded where the hoses come off but the problem lies in that the water that's going through this housing the inside of these two passageways as they corrode the cast iron gets bigger which means as the iron oxidizes the passageway gets smaller so i'll show you the difference in diameters as you can see pretty easily here how much bigger that diameter is so it's probably almost a third larger than this. And when we get to this one, this is almost double the diameter. This is really corroded where it's closing off. So much like risers, exhaust risers, every five years, something like that, you wanna change those. I would look at one of these maybe every 10 years. It needs to come off every two years to have the thermostat change because if you're in salt water, that definitely needs to be addressed. If you're in fresh water, you probably can get away with 10 years, something like that. So the last fitting I have to take off is this. So we're gonna take that fitting off. I'm gonna make sure I align it. 
um, take a picture of it with my phone so I know when I put it back on the new housing here, I've got to make sure that it goes back in the same position. So it's got a face pretty much in this direction when I put it back on. So we're going to do that next. All right, what I did was take a piece of tape just and line it up straight down with the angle with which this is sitting in here. And pretty much uh, it looks like 15 millimeters or 5 eighths will unthread this. So we're going to take that fitting out to put it in the new one. And then that passageway there. As you can see, this is for the fuel cooler. That passageway is really clogged as well in there. It's hard to see, but... Let me see if I can turn the light on. Yeah. So you can see that passageway is really clogged too. And that's from just sitting there. So you can see that these passageways now are very corroded shut. This one's probably a third smaller. This one doesn't, you know, the, the small ones are for the exhaust rods, or they're the bad ones. And then down inside that housing, you can see how corroded that is. Um, and there's that groove that that O-ring's got to sit in. So we're going to take the new one, and we're going to put the fitting back on. i got to take some pipe plugs out of it, and then we'll get going on that. Okay, so let's put the thermostat in next. So we've got the thermostat, and it's going to go in spring side faces you and then the O-ring is going to go in the groove and that's going to take a little screwdriver and we're going to work that O-ring down inside the groove with the screwdriver. So once I'm done with that, then I'm going to flip it over and put the fittings back in. All right, I've got the O-ring in there most of the way around. I'm going to try to push it the rest of the way down with the screwdriver. Get it in that groove. Okay, that's in the groove all the way, I'll show you that. Okay, so there's the O-ring in the groove at the very bottom. And yes, there is a groove that you have to fight with to get that O-ring in there. But once that O-ring's in there, that thermostat's not gonna move. And that's the critical part of this. Okay, one thing to make note when you check these plugs, they're not real tight from the factory. So I put some pipe thread sealing on here um, and I took this fitting out and I'm going to put it back in and tighten it up because I want to make sure it doesn't leak and that it's tight. So snug a quarter turns all you need to do. Alright, so the plug that I need to take out here is 5 sixteenths and you can see how loose that is actually from the factory. They don't tighten them down a lot. Do they vibrate loose? Probably not. And then I'm going to put my coolant temperature sensor in there. And I've got my bench in the other room. We're going to tighten that in. I'm going to tighten that up. Uh, I'm going to look in the book and see what the torque spec is. Now I've got the T connection. I'm going to put that in there. So put a little red compound on that. These are slightly different. Castings are slightly different, not much. Uh, it's a rougher casting you see. Paint isn't as good. So I gotta line this one up. I'm gonna line this one up just about like just a touch more. Probably not going to be super critical. But there we go. All right, so all right, so that's back together. We've got the sensor in here. We've got the T connection correct. Uh, I put a little more uh, pipe sealing on here. We're going to go and find the torque specs. Gasket, a little uh, grease on the gasket here. The reason I put a little grease on it, I just rub it into my finger so that I can get it apart and it doesn't stick like that.
that one does. You gotta grind it all off because you should be taking this apart periodically. So I'll go get this set up, put it back on the engine. Okay, I've located in two books the two torque specs that I'm looking for. And the first one is for V6, V8 models. This is an older book for from Volvo Penna, and it says the bolts are 20 to 25 foot pounds that holds the thermostat on. And then for the engine coolant temperature sensor, the torque spec is 108 inch pounds. So you need two different books to find this and a bit of a struggle, but we found it. All right, we've got the surface nice and clean. I've cleaned this all off. I'm gonna put a little grease on the gasket. It says to use sealing compound. I usually use just a little bit of grease just so the gasket comes off when you wanna take it apart. Now, the other interesting thing about this engine being of the late 90s, mid late 90s, these engines were built. This is a aluminum intake manifold, which you'll know with a magnet doesn't stick to it. If I put it on something metal, it does stick like the circulation pump. Uh, the other thing too is these are marine grade aluminum intakes. As you can see, there's an interface here for the aluminum. And then there is a bronze insert. So there's really, it looks like it's a two piece casting where the inside of the housing is all silicon bronze and the outside of it is aluminum. So this is a true marine grade intake manifold. It looks like it's something out of a four barrel, almost old marine carbureted version of the engines. They might use both with their TBI system in these engines. All right, we've got the thermostat housing here. Got my bolts with some grease on them. This one started. to 25 foot-pounds. Even when I tighten them down a little bit first. So realizing after the fact that I put this in and bolted this down that you cannot get a torque wrench in here, you don't have the room. So I do have a set of medium depth snap-on sockets that would fit this. I don't have them with me, of course. All right, a deep regular socket won't fit on here, but you can just squeeze a half inch socket with a half inch to three eighths adapter. And it is, about nine foot pounds. There's nine foot pounds. And that's it. That's tight. You can put the temperature sensor back in, plug that in, and then we're ready to start hooking the hoses back up um, and get this thing reconnected. <clears throat> All right, I've got some other work to do on this engine. This is kind of a refit of it. We're changing things on it. Um, thermostat housings, changing the water pump, um, doing some uh, just basic repairs to it. So. Okay, so if you liked that video, hey, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I'll see you in the next one.